Maybe you just don't have the patience to be searching online to find these perfect components that is going to bring your Glock to space age performance while maintaining its legendary reliability. Well, have no fear, my friends, because Shadow Systems has done it for you. This has got all of the upgrades you could ever want on one of your Glocks, including a milled slide that's been lightened for faster speeds. It's already been cut for red dot. It's got a modified magazine release. It's got the perfect grip texturing, and it's all for a price cheaper than what you can buy a Glock and modify it for. Now, before we jump into the details of the shadow system, go ahead and take a second. Hit that like and subscribe button. Support the channel. The Shadow System DR920. It's essentially a Glock 17, but very much so upgraded with more features than what you could afford for the price of the gun. So you couldn't buy a Glock and put all of these features into that Glock for anywhere near the price point of the Shadow Systems, which I've seen them on Gunbroker which is historically known for not even having the best prices for as low as $850. So, you know, Shadow Systems offers a great value. Now, Shadow Systems has only been around since 2016. Their mission is to provide the world's most uncompromising everyday use firearms for any mission requirement and for all people at a price point that changes everything. What I like most about Shadow Systems is they're made in Plano, Texas. They're machined in-house and built by Americans. The team is made up of combat vets, former law enforcement, and competitive shooters. Now they've got, you might look at their, their gun and say, well, you know, these might be just aftermarket parts that I can buy. But no, they they have the kind of their own uh, proprietary parts, like the frame itself. They've got their own injection molded equipment in-house. So their frame is unique to them. And it's got a lot of really cool features that we'll get in, into in a second for ergonomics. But they do all in-house manufacturing of their slides, barrels, triggers, and internals. Now, they prioritize reliability. So, performance is very important. However, reliability is number one, and that's really critical for a duty or carry gun. So, that's good to hear. Now, don't get me wrong, they have upgraded a lot of the features on the Glock style pistol to make it more effective. And we'll get into that in a second as well. So, in terms of ergonomics, the grip texturing on this gun is exceptional. I really enjoy just all of the modern man manufacturers improvements to grip in the last year really or maybe two years. But you really don't even have to worry about going out and purchasing a sandpaper style grip or anything to really increase the surface area so you can get a better grab on the gun uh, with the Shadow Systems pistols. Their grip is uh, impeccable. They've also undercut the trigger guard and have made the frame in such a way that you can get a really high grip on the pistol. And they've put an over-large uh, beaver tail that really helps with recoil management. They've also included a rest area for your support thumb. So it kind of gives you a gas pedal-like feature on the frame. And then lastly, in terms of the frame, they have an MPOA backstrap system. And that backstrap system allows for you to change the grip angle. It's not geared around comfort like a lot of other firearms that you see today where, oh, you've got bigger hands, use the large grip module. Or, oh, you've got smaller hands, you know, you use no grip module. You know, that's all fine and dandy. But I really think that they've got something going on here where, you change out the grip model uh, module on this and you're going to change the grip angle. So if you're used to training with a 1911 or other firearms that use that same grip angle, then you can use a back strap and achieve that. Or if you prefer the Glock uh, grip angle, then you can use a back strap to achieve that. So I thought that was really clever from Shadow Systems. That's a great job there. 
uh, they've got the frame integrated magwell. So a lot like the Gen 5 frames, the magwell is integrated. However, they also provide a removable magwell and all the tools and hardware that you need to install it. It really helps out with mag changes and, you know, obviously being able to reload fast is important for both, you know, defensive use, combat use, or competitive use as well. They've included their high traction mag release on this uh, pistol, so it's very easy to get to. Your thumb's not going to miss it. 383 all four hits. And uh, it works really well. I do like that. You know, just some other features that they included is they've upgraded the slide cover, the rear cover on the slide, where, you know, it looks really nice. You know, there's a lot of cheesy ones out there floating around, and then the Glock one's pretty plain. What's really cool is they've got a multi-footprint optic cut. This allows for you to use several different optics on their optic cut guns without using any intermediate plates. So that is great. Allowing you to get a one-third co-witness with your factory sights, which is very, very impressive. It does come with two Magpul mags. But the best part is, is this gun is compatible with all Glock parts. So your Glock mags are going to work in this gun. So if you're like me and you've just got tons, dozens of Glock mags sitting around, you're good to go. Lastly, let's get to my favorite part, the performance of the firearm. So one thing to note is speed. This gun can be ran very fast, and there's a couple different ways that it has improved upon the already awesome Glock design for speed. The first is the slide. They've minimalized the amount of material on the slide while making it look aesthetically appealing, but also reducing weight so you have less reciprocating mass as you fire the gun. So that means that you have less mass traveling backwards over the fulcrum point and causing the gun to tilt upwards when you shoot. So this allows you to, with proper grip and technique, to shoot the gun much flatter and faster than what you might with a standard Glock or other pistols. All right, this is the Glock 19. We're going to run a build drill with it at seven yards and let's see how we do. That was 2.59 seconds. Two twenty-one. Another cool feature that they have on the slide is they've included directional serrations. And these are directed in such a way where they reduce drag when you're pulling the gun out of a holster. And they're also directed in the proper way so that you get the maximum uh, grip on your slide as you try to rack the slide back you know to clear either a malfunction or if you're like me and half the time when you shoot uh, you compress the slide lock so you have to you know go over the top and slingshot the the slide to load another round in uh, but you know the, the, I found that the serrations, both on front and rear, work really well. The trigger overall, it's flat-faced, and it performed really well. You know, it's lighter than the standard Glock at about 4.5 to 5 pounds uh, on average. You know, it has a little bit of a shorter take-up and uh, overall travel length. But, you know... I thought it was pretty good. Now, is it, um, you know, just amazingly better than my stock Gen 5 Glock 19? I would say no. It's nothing that really, like, just astounded me, you know, was astoundingly better. But it was, you know, it's, it's a pretty good trigger. And what's interesting is, is, you know, this, again, isn't an Apex trigger or, you know, some aftermarket trigger you can buy somewhere. This is their trigger. And uh, so I think they did a really good job on that. All the functions and safeties of the trigger work just like the standard Glock. So you, the gun is drop safe. 
you don't have to worry about you know a sear slipping and you get a negligent discharge or something to that effect this gun is very safe so that's awesome as well and when it came to accuracy components like the sights uh, and the barrel really played a big part the sights are trinium on the front with a bright you know larger dot so that makes fast acquisition very easy and you've got a blacked out rear so you're really differentiating that front sight from the rear sights and then again like i explained earlier they have their optic system where you can include a red dot on all of your elite models but also on some of your combat models and then the barrel is match grade and what's really cool about these barrels is they are spiral fluted so that reduces weight of the barrel reduces weight of the gun but it also allows those grooves that are cut into it allows for debris and dirt to get into those grooves and work their way out of the gun so that actually helps improve reliability and when it came to reliability the gun was reliable uh, it shot very well this is a, a great shooting gun and i think overall a great value especially if you can get this gun under a thousand dollars where i'm seeing it at that price point on gun broker uh, right now the shadow systems dr920 this is a duty size gun so if you're looking for a full-size gun to carry and you're considering kind of that glock line of firearms but you're considering a lot of upgrades you'd like to do i'm going to buy a glock and i'm going to buy an aftermarket barrel an aftermarket trigger i'm going to put a magwell on it i'm going to do all these things to it you might want to instead look at the shadow systems uh, firearms because they've already got all of those features included and the price point's going to be much less than what you're going to get if you went out and bought a Glock, even a used one, and you tried to buy these components and install them yourself. Plus, you've saved yourself all the hassle of getting a brand new firearm with a warranty to back it up. So check out the Shadow Systems. I hope you guys got a lot from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a second, hit that like and subscribe button, and support the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you all, and God bless. 197.